Hey, this is Brett, and today I'm super excited to show you this brand new 2023 Jeep Grand Cherokee L Summit Reserve with the high altitude package on it. On top of all that, it is a brand new color for 2023. This is Midnight Sky Exterior Paint. Uh, paint code is PCQ. This one has the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine. Puts out 293 horsepower, 257 foot-pounds of torque. It's gonna to get you 25 miles per gallon highway, 18 city for an average of 21 miles per gallon. It also has the towing package on it and can tow up to 6,200 pounds with this vehicle. I'm gonna go all the way around in this video. We're gonna check out the original window sticker. I'm gonna go over some of the things that make this a high altitude. And uh, also we're gonna check out that paint color up close and personal. Starting off, you'll notice that you get the blacked out Jeep lettering, as well as the gray uh, outlines on the grill, as well as the gloss black around the lower fascia, all part of that high altitude package. This one does have the LED headlamps, running lights and fog lights. And what I'm gonna do at the end of this video, we're gonna turn all of those on so you can see just how nice and bright they are. So the high altitude package also gives you the 21 inch wheels and they're kind of a gray, I don't know if that's Baltic gray or granite crystal, but uh, they're the painted 21 inch wheels and it has continental cross contact tires. These are 275, 45R21s, kind of an all terrain tread pattern to them. So Midnight Sky, this is the first time I have seen this color. Really a good looking color and you can see it's got some blues and purples and even a little bit of green in there. Uh, really a cool looking color for the metal flake there. Notice you also get the gloss black Grand Cherokee lettering on the side as well as the gloss black uh, of the back of the mirrors. And the roof is gloss black as well. Take a look at the original window sticker here. Feel free to pause this. I'm not gonna go over everything, but most of it. 2023 Grand Cherokee Summit, or Grand Cherokee L Summit Reserve, Midnight Sky Exterior Paint, Global Black Interior, Palermo Leather Seats, 3.6 liter, eight speed automatic. You get the Quadratrack 2 system, Jeep Wave. Everything on your left is your standard equipment. You also get the Uconnect Nav, or Uconnect 5 Nav with a 10.1 inch display. Apple CarPlay, Google Android Auto, everything there is your standard equipment. Optional equipment starts at the Midnight Sky Exterior Paint, which is $4.95. Customer Preferred Package 23U, which is the Summit Reserve, is $4,480. Gives you the passenger interactive display, uh, the 275-45R21 all-season tires, the Palermo leather seats, the 19-speaker high-performance um, audio system by Macintosh. Active noise control system, 950 watt amplifier, ventilated rear seats, deluxe headliner, and Palermo leather door trim. Also has the high altitude package, which is a $1,540 option, which gives you the 21 inch black painted aluminum wheels and gloss black exterior accents. Has the luxury tech five group, which is 420 bucks, which gives you the manual second row window shades. Electronic limited slip differential delete is $400 credit and it has the conventional differential rear axle. Total MSRP on this one is 74.40. If you wanna get your summit price with the rebates and incentives on this particular Grand Cherokee, as well as availability in the upper right-hand part of the screen is a link to our website. Click that and check us out there. Tell them Brett sent you. Three year 36 bumper to bumper and five year 60 powertrain. This one has uh, the miles per gallon right there, 25 highway, 18 city, 21 average, and it has not been rated for a crash test rating at this point. But just looking right here, you can see those Palermo leather seats, really good looking. And we're gonna get into the interior in just a little bit. I do wanna go to the back storage area before we get too far. Four wheel disc brakes. And uh, you get the kind of dark chrome exhaust tips, the towing package, which includes a receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wire. Remember this can tow up to 6,200 pounds. Note you get the blacked out 4x4 L logo, as well as the Jeep logo and Summit Grand Cherokee logo right there. Get the LED tail lamps and the gloss black trim around the top. 
Here is the receiver hitch cover. I put these in here for the videos. Uh, you get the Berber floor mats. You get storage underneath here. That's where your jack tools are. These third row seats do power fold down. I'm just going to do one side so you can see how that works. And you can see just how nice and flat that they go. Now you can also put the second row down and that's not really a power, it's just a release. So it puts it down like so, but you can see just how nice and flat that they go there. And the third row goes back up on its own as well. Uh, you do get the subwoofer back here and to get this gate down, you press that button. It'll beep at you three times and then begin its descent. Just a really good looking color. Kind of admire it from the back here. Does have the capless fuel fill, which is a really nice feature as well. Take note that you get the gloss black on top of the door handles, kind of a subtle, hard to tell with the dark blue and black color, but um, really nicely done. You get blind spot monitoring, heated mirrors, and directional signals in there. Let's take a look at that awesome interior. You get the Palermo quilted stitching on here, kind of with a copper colored thread. Get the gray piping on there. Both these seats are heated, cooled, and uh, memory. You also have the massaging on the back of the seats, which is pretty sweet. You get the Berber floor mats, auto headlamps, the wood grain trim on the doors and dash. There's your massaging seat, memory driver seat. Get that stitching on the inside of the doors as well, power windows, locks, and mirrors. And to get these mirrors to fold in, you just gotta turn that down and then those mirrors fold in like so. We'll take a quick look at the back seats. So you get the second row quad seating. These second row seats are heated and cooled. You get the latch child safety system, of course. You get the premium suede headliner, has the pano roof up there as well. This one has the center console in it. There are your rear air and rear seat controls. It does have two USBs, two USB-Cs, and then a 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in right there. You get the Berber floor mats back here, and you can get to these third row seats by just kind of folding that seat forward and then it slides forward as well. Second or the third row seats right there. And you can put these seats down by these buttons right here as well. And these do, this floor mat does snap into place right there. Uh, the rear sun shades right there are very nice, especially if you have kids. And the back doors are trimmed out just like the front doors. Do note that you have the ambient lighting on the inside of the doors and the dash, and we'll check that out in just a little bit as well. Uh, child safety locks on the back doors. We'll hop inside, take a look at the radio and everything that this vehicle has to offer. You get the big instrument cluster here. Um, note you get a digital speedometer, compass outside, temperature display, and there's a million things you can do with this um, instrument cluster. N note the nice gloss black on the steering wheel, the wood grain trim, adaptive cruise, regular cruise, um, information center controls. You get the paddle shifters, audio controls on the back of the steering wheel. The steering wheel is, of course, heated. Uh, the dash is all the same stitching. And then this is the Uconnect 5 10.1-inch radio. Up here you get start, stop, lane departure, stability control, parking sensors, your perpendicular and parallel park assist, and the passenger side screen. Uh, you can turn that off and on, which is right there, and you can hook up a HDMI to that um, to play videos or whatever you hook up to it. So that's really an awesome system. Um, going back to the radio, you have your AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. Of course, the factory navigation system on there. You have all your climate controls, including your dual climate controls, your heated and cooled seat buttons. You have all your different apps that are on here. Um, you have the ambient color, so you can change that ambient color to whatever colors you want, and that'll be under the dash. And once we turn off all those lights, I'll, uh, I'll show you all that too, because that's pretty sweet. Um, but then you have 
all your different other controls. You have Android Auto, you can project to the screen. You have your massaging seats. You have your forward camera on here, which is pretty awesome. And then those grid lines are dynamic, so you can see where you're going to be going. Also has an area to clean the camera with a spray. And then your backup camera. Note how nice and HD those pictures are on those cameras. And you have everything else back here. Um, so yeah, I don't think this one has, oh yeah, it does have the surround view camera. So you can see everything that's going around, going on around you. So that's pretty awesome as well. You also have a wide view rear and a wide view front, as well as the narrow view front and the narrow view rear. So a lot of great stuff you can do with this radio and we could literally spend hours or probably an hour on it uh, going through everything. Down here, your more tactile climate volume and tune controls. This one has the wireless cell phone charge pad. Down here, you get two USBs, two USB-Cs, and an AUX jack. There's your HDMI hookup for that screen right there. Uh, this is your QuadraTrack uh, 2 system. So it has auto snow, sand, mud, and rock, as well as sport. So if you change that, you can uh, see that up in the EVIC here, it changes from sand, mud, and then snow, and then sport. And that'll change the um, characteristics of the 4x4 system as well. This one also has the quadra lift system, so it can raise and lower the vehicle um, to different heights. Four-wheel drive low has a neutral setting for flat towing and downhill assist control. Here's your new rectangular style Jeep key fob that they have remote start on there and power lift gate. You do get cup holders right here that are illuminated and uh, passenger side is all trimmed out the same way. Love those seats. Get the summit embossed into the backrest and that power vista roof there. Uh, second row fixed front glass is power assist and SOS buttons. You also have a sunshade. Um, sunroof controls and then map lights up there as well as home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems so as promised I'm going to I'll start this up and we're gonna turn on the lights on this vehicle which also will turn on the ambient lights in here and we'll get that all set up but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go outside the vehicle and we're gonna turn all the lights off in the picture studio so that you can see just how nice and bright all the lights are on this vehicle. All right, give me one second. We'll turn the lights off and do a final walk around here. All right, so you can see just how nice and bright all those lights are. The uh, fog lights obviously are down here. Your headlights are right there. And then of course your running lights are right under the hood and fender. Do you get your corner markers there? And when you open up the doors, you get the uh, illumination on the inside of the door handles, which is pretty sweet. And then the LED tail lamps look really good as well. You also get LED license plate lights, not to be lost in any of this. But I do want to show you that interior because it is really sweet. So we can uh, turn all these lights on. I'm not sure how to get it. One second here. All right, so what I had to do is I had to adjust the interior lights right here. You can see I brighten them and dim them with that toggle switch right there. So you can make them blue or you can make them aqua or white, or yellow, or red. So you can change all those colors and then you just obviously just change the intensity with the toggle switch right there or you can just turn them off completely. Um, obviously this being a blue vehicle looks good with the blue on there. Anyways, uh, really like that feature. And uh, that does it for our walk around here. I'm gonna turn the lights back on real quick and I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today 
and hopefully from this HD video, you'll have been able to verify the options, looks, and styling, and color of this 2023 Jeep Grand Cherokee L Summit Reserve High Altitude in Midnight Sky exterior paint. And uh, thanks again for checking out the video. And to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, half tons, three quarter tons, Grand Cherokees, Cherokees, Renegades, Wranglers, you name it, we got it. Go to that website right there, summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. Click the bell notifications and you'll get updates on the videos I do each and every day here at Summit Automotive. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left. A link to more Grand Cherokee videos that I've done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. We're super excited to be offering the 2023 Jeep Grand Cherokee L Summit Reserve, high altitude and midnight sky exterior paint. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.